It's great to be with all of you, and I want to tell you that um, I make a point of going to every deployment ceremony, and I make a point of attending every welcome home ceremony. And between the two, I far prefer the welcome home ceremonies, as I'm sure those of you that are gathered here today as families um, can attest to it as well. I am here on behalf of the people of our state, though, to say thank you. Thank you to our soldiers, soldiers of the Maryland National Guard, and also to say thank you to all of you, the families uh, who we depend on so very, very much in order to sustain uh, the success of their mission and in order to bring them home. And to any of the kids who are here today, uh, any of the children of our soldiers, I have this special charge for you. I need you to make sure that you write to your, to your uh, moms or dads that you send them pictures, that you stay in touch with them, and you do it consistently and faithfully, and do it every week. And that is your mission. And we really, really need you. I also want to thank Senator Ben Cardin for being here today, who will speak in just a second. But military families in our country uh, do not have a stronger advocate than you have in Senator Cardin and the work that he does to support our armed forces and to support their families here at home. The men and women of the Maryland National Guard are indispensable to our state. We're all very, very proud of you, and we're all very, very grateful to you. During this battalion service in Western Iraq from November, November 2004 to uh, October 2005, this unit received 88 individual awards, including six bronze stars, 11 meritorious service members. The greatness of our state is exemplified by the greatness of your service. Your, the fact that you have chosen to serve me. And I wanted to say to Lieutenant Colonel Gallagher and Command Sergeant Major Willock, we trust your leadership, we trust your dedication, we trust you to bring all of these men and women home safely. I wish you uh, Godspeed and also ask God's blessing on you and that He will protect you, watch over you, and bring you safely and quickly home.